Hi, welcome back Year 3. Um, this is our next session on Mouse Bird Snake Wolf. As you might have noticed, I've got a new addition. This is Jessie the Giraffe, so she's joining me for our reading session today. I will quickly go through a recap so it's fresh in your minds of what happened last time um, I did a reading session. So, Harry and Sue had decided to create a wolf and um, Ben was a little bit frightened by this because when they were describing what a wolf was, um, they described it as having these big teeth um, and really sharp claws. So he was a little bit scared by that and decided to climb a tree, which I think is quite a sensible idea. So he's out of the way whilst they're creating the wolf. Um, once they created it, they were trying to encourage it to wake up, but nothing was happening. So they decided to try a little bit harder and that's where we stopped last time. And I got you to think about what might happen um, if it did wake up. So you were predicting what might happen. And today we're going to find out what does actually happen. So let's get started. They tried to feel as a god feels when he is making things. They tried to feel as a wolf feels when it is being made. They raised their voices as if they were howling. They drummed their feet as if they were running. Howl, wolf, howl, they howled. Run, wolf, run, they howled. They woke a god and he sat up and dangled his feet over the edge of his cloud and wagged his finger in a warning. This is a job for the gods, he scolded. Scolded means he's telling them off or he's criticising them. Not for silly little children like you. But they took no notice and the god looked down in fascination. Fascination means um, in this case that he's really interested in what they are doing. As they snarled and drooled and yelped. And the ground trembled as they raced in circles around the wolf. Ow! they yelled. Ow! And yes, the wolf stirred. And yes, it stood up. And yes, it howled. And yes, it ran. It howled and it ran straight at Harry and Sue. And it gobbled them up. Then it howled once more and lay on the ground and fell fast, fast asleep. The god clicked his tongue and shook his head. What silly children, he said. What v a very, very silly thing to do. And little Ben said, golly, goodness gracious. What a weird, peculiar thing. And he looks pretty terrified up there. He's still cuddled up in a ball. Okay, so we're going to stop there today. Um, the questions will pop up on your screen in a moment. Um, so you can have a read through those and answer those. Okay. So the first question that we've got is a vocabulary one and it's what does the word gobbled mean? So Harry and Sue have been gobbled up by the wolf. The word gobbled means the wolf has eaten them. So he might have been doing this in a bit of a rush and making a lot of noise whilst eating. So the next question is an explanation question and it's, is the use of repetition effective? So I will show you the repetition that I mean that the author's used in the book. So, and yes, the wolf stirred, and yes, it stood up, and yes, it howled, and yes, it ran. That repetition, I think, is very effective because it's drawing the reader's attention to the fact that the wolf is now awake, it's now alive. Um, so it's giving that emphasis behind it wasn't real before, but now it's very real and it's very alive. Okay, so the next question is um, find one word that means strange. Now you could have had two words from this. Um, on this page here, Ben says it's a weird, peculiar thing. So you could have had weird or you could have had peculiar because peculiar also means strange. Okay, so that's it for this time. I will see you again soon. Thank you for listening.